Yo guys, what's going on? It's Aces here today with another video. In today's video, we have some exciting, exciting stuff, man. We have patch 12.4 finally releasing. I honestly thought it was going to be another two weeks, but then I woke up this morning. You guys told me on the items of the week video that servers are down, and I'm like, oh, okay. And then I try to hop on Tarkov, and I see patch 12.4, and man, was I excited. So we have a ton of content here today. I'm going to try and get this recorded. Then I'm going to upload a Modern Warfare video. Then upload this. Probably some more Tarkov content than more Call of Duty. So if you guys haven't tried Warzone yet, it's free to play. And all you guys playing Tarkov on your PCs, obviously, can download that for free. So definitely check it out and maybe check some of my content out as well. Really quick, before we get in the video, if you guys want more items of the week, if you want three episodes a week instead of two, let me know in the comments. I can go Monday, Wednesday, Friday if you guys are interested in that. I know you guys love making money, but... There's definitely something we got to point out. The flea market has been nerfed with this patch. The flea market can no longer be accessed until level 15. So if you guys want a leveling guide for Tarkov on how to level up extremely quick on how I do it, let me know. Also in the comments below. I can do that for you guys. Very, very quick and easy method to level up in Tarkov, in my opinion. But, um, you know, we'll save that for the video if you guys do want it. But I don't want to waste time and, you know, if something you guys aren't going to watch. So, let's stop rambling. Let's get into some of the new trades that are in the dealers tab. So, Proper doesn't really have any love, man. Proper really didn't have anything new. Obviously, there's going to be quite a few trades, especially in all the attachments and stuff that I miss that are new. But, Proper didn't really have anything new and exciting. So, we're going to head into Therapist. And Therapist, honestly, same story, man. Not much new and exciting for therapists. As we scroll through here, you can see there's not really anything new. Just the, you know, daily sold out thick cases, man. Fence, obviously, that's just all player crap. There's nothing new in there. You might be able to snipe some of the new items that are in the game, though, for players who just aren't really knowledgeable and they just kind of throw it into fence. Skier, I really don't think has anything new as well. Might have a couple new attachments thrown in there, but we're getting there. We are definitely getting there. Trust me. But, yeah, the first four, no love, really. Peacekeeper, he might have had a couple new ones, just, like, attachment-wise. But, at the end of the day, we're really going to be focusing on Mechanic, Ragman, and Jaeger. So, obviously, some of you guys won't have Jaeger. Make sure you are doing that quest. I think you unlocked the quest to get Jaeger at level 10. You just got to go on woods right by the plane, cla plane crash. And then there's his little hut there. You grab the note, you extract, you're good to go, and you got Jaeger. So, um, we're going to head into Mechanic, and we're going to check out the new trade right here. It is the VOG 17 grenade. That's going to cost you, click on it, one fuse. Now, I'm assuming fuses will just be found in weapon crates or, you know, scab backpacks or grenade cr or grenade crates. There we go. I almost said grenade case because that's a thing now. But fuses, I think, will be really common. I think this grenade might be inflated for a couple days, but other than that, I believe it's just a shorter fuse grenade. It's not that great. I think it's worse than the RGD. So with that being said, I think it really will be a pretty common grenade here very shortly and won't be too high on the market. And then I think Mechanic might have one other trade down here that I noticed was new. I think you might have saw it there at the beginning. It is the new key card trade, 6 Poxy Ram. I'm going to pronounce it that way. I could be completely, you know, screwing that up. But it's going to be six of these for one key card. Key cards selling for... Um, as of two days ago, I don't know what they are today. Obviously, anything can change once there's a big patch release. But um, key cards are selling about 150 because therapist price actually went way down. Let's actually check, see what she's selling them for. 157. They went up a little bit, so they might be creeping back up. But um, yeah, that was the only other new, like, important trade that I saw for mechanic. Obviously, I don't know if I just have neglected searching these items. So there might be a couple new attachment trades in here as well. Make sure you're checking all of those out if you guys are really into that attachment stuff. But as you can see, scrolling the whole way down here, nothing new really popping. So we're going to head into Ragman. We're going to see a lot of the new armors. Here's the med bag. We will get to that eventually. I really don't understand this med bag. I'll get into it a little bit more once we uh, find some of the new stuff to check out here. So... First item should be coming up right here. The Armor Class 6. I'm really excited for this one. Hopefully, it's not too expensive on the flea market once a lot more players get it. But it's definitely going to infl inflate the Trooper price. The uh, the USEC Trooper Armor. I believe that's Armor Class 5 or 4. But the USEC, you can find that on a lot of uh, guys in the lab. So, that's probably going to go up a lot in value. And uh, key cards might go up just a touch. 
And then we have one of the new items. These look like blankets or some sort of clothing or cloth. I don't know how you get these. I have no idea what they are. There's four different ones. There's the Condora. There's Fleece. There's two other ones that we'll be getting into that you need for some of the other trades. But you need three of them and then the USEC Trooper. Now, I'm assuming you can use completely beat Troopers. And that's going to drive the price of the uh, lower ones on the flea market way up. So, that is something to look out for as well. Getting into the next one, it should be the bank robber. I'm actually really excited about this. A lot of people are going to overlook the bank robber, and I think it's going to go way under its price on the flea market. I'm going to, I'm going to assume it's going to hover around 6k. But the bank robber, I'm super excited for it because it's basically it's not as good as the macro rig, but it's better than the scav vest. And I run scav vest just for loot runs, you know, on interchange or something, just to throw a couple extra mags in. 8,610 rubles when you got, you know, four slots for a two a two slaughter mag. I mean. That to me is so much better than just the scav vest here, which only has, you know, two. So I definitely think I'll be running bank robbers over in the scav vest for an extra 4K if I want to run, you know, some sort of light AR or like a 74U or something. So I'm actually really excited for the bank robber personally for someone who does a lot of loot runs and, um, you know, eco runs a lot more than the average player. So we have the new AACPC um armored rig this is one of the new plate carriers and this is where we see some of those new items coming in we have the condor once again the r mid i'm going to be pronouncing some of these wrong by the way the rip stop and the other one is the fleece which we will be seeing very shortly this guy is a pretty big one it is a 23 container and you can fit a helmet or something in here as well in this slot right here and we do have some threes in here as well i like this was very versatile for all the mags you might want to carry on a run this one for me i really really do like this one because i usually like to throw like if i don't want to do 60 rounders on like my m4 or something i'll just throw a 40 rounder in there because they're a lot cheaper and it's one of them rigs you know it's not the one of the best rigs in the game but at the same time it's one of the better ones so i like this one and this one was armor class five so definitely one of the better rigs in the game moving down the list a good bit the last new item that we're going to be seeing from ragman is the med bag i don't know the actual name it is the lbt 2670 slim field med pack now this bag is a 35 slot which we can check out here a lot of space and this is for meds only so i feel like we're going to see this bag very very commonly on labs or you know somewhere that's very med heavy i guess you could take this into interchange you know hit up mantis hit up pharmacy there's a couple other med spawns on interchange but you know, I feel like this is definitely more of a labs run backpack for like an eco labs run because you can get all of those stems if you got all the key cards. You can, you know, get a lot of stuff in labs that are medical related. So I feel like this is more of a labs backpack. I wasn't really um, on board with seeing it at first and I still wouldn't use it personally. But the tray is very interesting. We have four fleece. We have three amids. We have uh, a paracord, which is 180K. Those might be going up as well. And then we have five duffel bags, which I was super surprised to see duffel bags in the trade. I really was. So duffel bag prices before this patch were at 2,500. Uh, every once in a while, they creep up to 3,500. So I'm kind of curious. Uh, let's get the Tarzan out of here. We'll be looking at that very soon. Let's see what duffel bags are at. Not coming up. Okay. Good talk, Tarkov. We might be down, but doesn't mean i can't still look at the trader so we're gonna be heading into jaeger the most important guy you want to have for this patch if you don't have jaeger yet obviously there is a quest for it i believe you get it at level 10 and um i don't know if you get that from proper or who you get that from maybe therapist i don't know maybe even skier but at the end of the day you just gotta head on woods by the plane crash there's plenty of videos on guides and how to do that on youtube from other people so just give one of them a check if you do not have jaeger unlocked definitely a dealer you want to uh, get and uh, he has some really difficult tasks to play and uh, do during the game but i'm gonna stop rambling man i gotta stop doing that oh don't do it to me don't do it to me 504 air let's get through it let's get to the grenade case come on boom grenade case we have um the survival matches and repellent so three new items here we have obviously the survival by the name I'm going to just assume you find them in med cases, med bags, whatever. Um, I have not looked on the flea market to see what these items are yet. I'm assuming there's definitely going to be a couple of them floating around already. There's been one grenade case sold. 
and um, I can see why you need a lot of new stuff here. They didn't use any old items from the old patches, which I can understand. They didn't want to inflate the prices of them like I kind of assumed that would happen. But on the survival, I'm assuming we'll find that in med bags. And then matches, once again, um, not the same matches as the other one. These seem to be a little bit higher quality matches. So um, hopefully still find them in filing cabinets. That would be amazing because we could get them done or get 15 of them in, you know, two raids. But then there's repellent. I feel like repellent's going to be a wood-specific item. It just makes sense in my head. You're heading to woods. There's going to be a ton of bugs, you know, if you would think about it in a reality aspect. There's going to be a ton of bugs in the woods, so you would need repellent. And I would assume you would just find them on, you know, regular duffel bags or anything in woods specifically. So we might see a lot more woods action if that theory is correct. Obviously, I don't know. I can't inspect any of these items from this tab, and we just saw that the servers are down. So I can't even go in the flea market and check them out. But we do have the new Tarzan rig, which is going to be a five-match trade as well. I'm assuming scavs will spawn with this rig. It's just a regular rig. I think it's a 14 slot. Yes, it is. And that's what this looks like right here. Honestly, I'd rather run the Triton rig personally. But let me know what you guys think. There's one new trade that Jaeger has as well, and it is this key. Now, this is a big boy key. I can tell this, this thing is going to sell for some cash. We got a one limit on it. You need five long and flathead screwdrivers. You need 10 green batteries, which I believe are a new item. And you need seven cyclones. Now, it's not cyclone because there's no E, so I'm going to be calling it cyclone. Hopefully, that is correct. But you can only buy one of these keys at a time. I have no idea what this is going to be opening on reserve base, but I'm assuming this key is going to sell for millions and millions. And I'm assuming also that one of the new items in the games could be found in there, along with possibly the grenade case. So, guys, that is pretty much all the new trades here in the uh tarkov dealers servers seem to be down right now so i'm gonna go upload some more modern warfare content until the stabilization gets fixed with the new patch but i'm definitely gonna be trying to get you guys some more new tarkov content in the next couple days so if you did enjoy the video here today be sure to leave a like on it subscribe if you're new share the sponsors and equipment in the description below guys that is all i have for you today thank you so much for watching and i'm out